You might have seen the shocking video of Iranian LGTB activists trying to join Pride in Toronto, Canada, and they were surrounded by Antifa, the Antifa, which are what they, the anti-fascists call themselves, this group that's called Antifa, uh, shouting, saying no hate in Pride. Uh, I mean, is this the Twilight Zone? These are LGTB activists from Iran joining gay pride and they're trying to stop them they Absolutely. didn't succeed of course of but course they managed to sort of uh, uh, they? brush them aside um with, and they received so much support from the from everybody else on the march apart from this isolated group and that's a trend which is really really uh, you know destructive uh, anybody from islamic within societies can have a right because he upsets their islamist friend you've I mean, got this is you've amazing. got people dressed as they want loving who they want one guy even like practically naked but when it comes to iranian lgbt they don't have the right because they're going to offend or because it's islamophobic why is it islamophobic why is demanding the right for lgbt in countries where people are getting killed for being gay which are the countries which kill people for being gay they're all countries under islamic rule this, Why is that wrong to say that? And this group and people like this needs to be exposed. These are reactionary, supposedly anti-fascist. They're not. They're just pro-Islamists. Anti-fascist some of the time. Yes. They are pro-Islamists, pro really. And they are very destructive <clears throat> and against human rights of, you know, people in Middle East, North Africa and everywhere else. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the fact of the matter is that people who are from the Middle East, from North Africa, from South Asia, people who are questioning and criticizing Islamic rules around uh, gay people, LGBT people. Uh, you know, one of the guys in the protest had a sign saying, I'm Muslim and I want to defend gay rights. And they're shouting, no hate and pride. I mean, this is like the topsy turvy world of the, uh, you know, Antifa in, in Toronto. Well, well done to them. They managed to march. We'll show you some of the video. It is really wonderful because they get lots of support as they are marching. And we're going to be marching in London on July 8th uh, with a focus on Islam and uh, the fact that all the countries that punish uh, homosexuality with death are Islamic uh, states and those ruled by Islamic laws. Uh, so hopefully you'll be there if you're in London to support us and we should be supporting LGBT from the Many Middle East, North countries. Africa without yes. condition, un unequivocally. There's a huge sort of battle going on in <laughs> Turkey and many other countries. So let's uh, chair, you know, let's put our hands together in solidarity, yeah. march on 8th of July in London and come and join us and and, else. and the Antifa needs to decide I mean are they pro gay rights or are they pro Islam uh, it's That's clear really. it's clear where they stand yeah, they pro, -Islam, pro Islam pro Islamist really fundamentally anti gay rights because you can't just be pro gay rights for yourself and not for everybody else not for brown people not for black people um, you know so this is a great time for us to push that message forward uh, you know, gay rights for everyone, not just people who live in the West. You heard that from Mariam Lamarcy.